Jesus Christ came in my life and He changed me. I was going through a life of hopelessness, but He came and He gave me hope that today I have a joy and that is just an everlasting. When my mom got married with my dad, they didn't have a good relation. My dad, he often used to drink and beat my mom bad due to which she got so much sick that my grandfather, they brought her back home. Somebody told my grandfather that, why don't you take her to the church? Then my grandfather took her to the church. There, they took a fasting prayer for her and she got completely healed of her sicknesses. There she accepted Christ as her personal savior. And uh, when my dad brought her back home, he did not accept the fact that my mom, she accepted Christ, due to which they separated, leaving my mom with me and my younger brother. Then my mom being a very strong believer, she is a very strict mother. Ever since from a very young age, she has been teaching me the Bible stories. She used to wake me up four o'clock in the morning and uh, praying and reading the Bible. This is how I grew up. And uh, I used to do everything just because I was told to do out of compulsion, but I didn't have uh, any personal relationship with Jesus Christ. One day, just flipping over the channels, I came across God TV. And that was a day for the first time I prayed. Not because somebody wanted me to do it, but because I just wanted to have a conversation with the Lord with whom I was serving all these years. Then after that, uh, from that time onward, when I prayed, I just felt a warmth around me. I just felt as if Holy Spirit himself came and teaching me. I just used to open the word of God and God himself revealing me the word. And at that time, Bible came my most precious possession. And that was the thing that I just used to take it everywhere and read it, even waking up at night and just knowing what is in it more and more. Then after that, I just realized that there is a call in my life that God is calling me for his ministry. After that, I just started feeling a pain under my kidney on the right side. I took medicine, but there was no relief of that. I just came to a point that I just started shouting and yelling in pain. I went through a surgery after a day when I just came back into my uh, consciousness. Then uh, I just, I was again having the pain on the same place. At the time, I just took my Bible and I just questioned God that God, why I'm going through such a thing. Just a week before, I was so healthy, so encouraged, but today, now at this point, the girl who is so scared of medicine has gone through all kinds of injections, and I went through surgery, and now I'm on my, head, on my bed, and after going through all of that, again, I'm having the pain at the same place. Then, um, I just started recollecting my memories, and a voice just came there, why did you doubt? And at that time, I just went into a visionary say where I saw my Jesus Christ face to face. That after that, when I opened my eyes, my mom, she was just in front of me and she was just looking at me and she was just like, what happened to you? And I just said, mom, my first words were, mom, I met Christ. And from that day onward, I got so much encouraged in my calling that even if the greatest person of this world even stand in front of me and say that you are not eligible for ministry, that won't make any effect on me for I know that if God has chosen anyone, the gender doesn't matter. If he has chosen anyone for his ministry, he himself gives power to accomplish his own task. God is the one who has called me and I have to do his work. If not, I then who will? I have a part in the ministry that is to be done by me only, that he has ordained me. Many a time we go through some of the circumstances in our life, some of the health issues like I went through, some of the failures in our, in our life. I was a part of it, I've experienced it all. And I just felt like I was going away. But now, if God has chosen you, he himself will give power to you. We just need to realize the love of God that will bring you back to its place. If you're going through some kind of discouragement, just feel that he died for you. He shed his precious blood on the cross. Don't waste it, that is for you. He has called you, there is no partiality in his love. If he can save me, he can save you too, as it is written in Psalm 55, 22, that cast all your burdens on him and he will never allow the righteous to be shaken.